I think you're looking at the wrong direction. That that's the TV screen, bro. Huh? You can't you can't be watching the TV screen that just keeps hey. on playing the same game over and over again. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to XSplit Weekly. Your host, AJ. And we got our special host, UGR Gaming. Is not here today. Uh, I was like, y you're not UGR. You ain't UGR. So I'm replacing him once again. Once again. This is Burnout Fighter. He's, I feel like he's going to be a regular. We're wearing the same shirt again. God damn it. Damn it, man. <laughs> we got everything prepared. Yeah, and then man. We forgot to change our T-shirts. I know. It feels like everybody's like always going to be thinking like we're going to be wearing the same shirt all the time. Yeah, like 24-7, 365 days a year. Uh, I'm yeah. a little embarrassed. Is, is, it, but is it you copying me or I'm copying you? No, that, that's a hard part. Like, I think it's you copying me. Why? How? I, How I get ready work? for this stream all the time. I wear this like it's my skin. So I have this on all the time. You. You're just you, jealous. You should, you should, you should Wait, wash, that's really should, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm you sorry, guys. You should watch that. I'm man. sorry, guys. It's like, that, that's nasty. That's nasty. So we'll we'll see if we actually remember to get a better T-shirt next week, if <laughs> next I exist week. next well, week. Yeah, next week we 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 don't know, we don't know if this show's. Gonna we don't continue. even know when, <laughs> like, if we're still allowed to do the show. I know. I mean, what's the what's what's the episode right now on? Thirty four. We did thirty four of this episode. Thirty four. Damn. I know. Thirty four weeks of this. Like you say it like it's a wrong bad thing. It's like thirty four weeks of this. Oh my god! No, I was like, no, this is a great we, thing. This we is a made great it. thing. I know we made no, it. No, we said that when we did episode like two. That's true. <laughs> it's like wow, we were able to do second <laughs> episode. Now we're on. Episode we did it. We we're, were actually a regular episode. Welcome to episode thirty four of X Play Weekly. Hey, a lot of things happened. Like a lot of things. Oh my time. god! So, so I think. We sh we could talk about the biggest thing that just happened today, not today, but like this past week. All right. I uh, mean, video game history of showing you know a gameplay on actual TV, ESPN two. Mm -hmm. That event. Let's talk about Evo. 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 Evolution fighting game. Evolution. Yes. So it is. Uh, Technically run around over 20 years, but officially it's the 15th year this year. Mm -hmm. uh, traditionally held at the Las Vegas uh, area. This time it was uh, the same area as last time, mm -hmm. which was the Mandalay Bay Arena. Yes. Um, also a second year in a row to be broadcasted through ESPN2. So, like you can imagine, most uh, like casinos and hotels in Las Vegas, they usually have like sports channels up on TVs. Yep, yep. So it's that time when we were live on ESPN too. Every everyone went, like drinking or doing the swap machines or playing poker. They were all watching Street Fighter on TV. That's actually insane. They'll be like playing poker and they like look up and yeah. they're like usually they'll be Whoa! expecting like baseball or basketball, some major sport, right? Yeah. But then they had uh, Street Fighter playing, which uh, most of us fighting game fans who were in the area was mm. able to watch it live at the I... actual uh, Mandalay Bay Arena. Mm. And, uh, yeah. I always want to go to Evo. Mm. Just for the experience. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But then, like, it's always when it's, like, busy. Or this year, I wasn't busy, but at the same time, I'm like, I went to so much events. Yeah. I it's gotta... usually busy when it comes to summer. So, yeah. I think you've kind of already got really drained earlier. Yeah. <laughs> and also, it's like, I got to catch up on work. Because yeah. when you travel, you can't do... Like, you try to do your... Or your regular work as well, but mm -hmm. it, it becomes a little hard, right? So it's like, I, yeah, I want to go, but I need to finish up all this other work that priorities. I yeah, The priorities. So I couldn't go, although, like, I technically, if I tried, I could have, but mm. I was like, I'll go next year. Next year. We'll You're welcome go. anytime. Um, and it is Las Vegas. There's a lot of things to see, look around the place. Um, and it is pretty spectacular. Just the whole atmosphere mm -hmm. like because it's oh, it's like already I'm in Las Vegas it's That's like you know true. the place that you may want to at least visit once in your lifetime mm -hmm. plus you get to see your favorite video games and all the competitive uh, plays uh, at the at the big screen at the big arena so it's pretty amazing 
Uh, just like any other major fighting game events happening around the world, it is a weekend long event. Mm -hmm. So all the tournament, uh, kind of the starting stages were in Friday, goes throughout uh, Saturday, and then does the finals uh, of all the games on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, because EVO now is kind of getting bigger and bigger, so aside from just the competition itself, now there's also a big enough area for panels, uh, for exhibitions, mm -hmm. for uh, booths to be open for like vendors and things like that. They also had like a lot of cosplay and the artists mm -hmm. early as well. So it, it's kind of becoming uh, its own convention now. So it, the scale of it is pretty big. Which is interesting. It's like a convention that first started as just this tournament. Yeah, as a tournament. And then it just spreads out. I feel like usually a convention starts and they'll start having tournaments yeah, tournament after, there. Right? Yeah, so this exactly. is quite different. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of a uh, very prestigious uh, feeling for those who traditionally competed in EVO throughout the year mm -hmm. um, like e like evil history goes way back like I said it's it's got a really deep history uh, it started from a couple of guys who just liked you know had just were passionate about fighting mm -hmm. games and they started a little tournament in like someone's basement that's how it started basement yeah damn with, with a few home consoles <laughs> and arcade <laughs> machines right for like the old Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2, Super Turbo, Hyper Fighting Championship Edition, all that stuff. Huh. And uh, yeah, now it's uh, hosting multi diff uh, like multiples of fighting game titles that's, you know, 2D, 3D, tag battle, uh, arena type, all that kind of, uh, any fighting game genre that you mm -hmm. may want to, you may think of, uh, old and new. So most of the modern ones obviously are because they're sponsored. They're quite a uh, bit more mainstream. Oh, yeah. um, people still bring their uh, own equipment to the venue because mm -hmm. they allow bring your own consoles, bring your own arcade boards, all that. Yeah. So they set up um, old school games just like I was uh, like in the long time ago where, I mean, pe do people even still remember CRT TVs? You know, no, I, I, yeah, yeah with a big, big ass, bad, heavy, <laughs> heavy. You could fit one in a car, those kind of TVs, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, they still bring it all the way. Like, they would, like, someone bring brought, like, uh, arcade cabinets in a, in their truck oh my from, God. like, Texas to last, like, drove all the way. I'm like, the dedication That's is real. That's crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we could have a quick peek at the video. So, right now, the right. page you have up. Uh, this is all Dreamcast consoles uh, for... Before that, we want to talk about why we're talking about EVO and XSplit News. is because our yeah. production team we did go to EVO to help out with the production yep. at EVO. Okay, that's why we're so dedicated on talking about EVO because we also worked on EVO. Yep. Okay? So we, we're big <laughs> supporters of the fighting game community uh, ever since. Nice. Uh, big names like Spooky, nice. uh, Farb, uh, Offcast... They've been very dedicated in the fighting game community, like, forever. Now they, since they represent XSplit just like us, uh, they have the technical abilities to actually go in the control room and do all the broadcasting. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't know, um, while all the in-house production may, require, uh, may have required a lot of uh, different equipment, camera, all that stuff, all the feed that you would have saw in person goes through to goes through directly to XSplit and then if you're if you were at home you were you would have been able to watch the streams of EVO mm -hmm. all powered by XSplit so exactly. it's pretty amazing it is um, it is if it's strong enough to power a event where we have hundreds of thousands of viewers um, almost six to seven thousand actual people within the venue um, imagine what it could do if you're just using it for your personal use right so you're, you're using a pretty powerful tool to stream, so um, you have everything covered. If you exactly. have any you know, questions, feel free to ask us all the time. We're available on the social medias, but... Um, yeah, let's jump right into your be, videos. Yeah, be mindful that these, the exploit itself is actually the same version that you would use at home, um, which are also used at many eSports uh, productions as well. So it's pretty amazing. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's going on here? So there are some multiple uh, videos I can show you. Uh, this are, these are the Dreamcast consoles. I think it, Dreamcast is still one of my favorite consoles. This is a small section within the venue they were playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2. See that dude? That, he has the old 
uh, stick that should have been on an arcade board, but he ripped it out to make a home version of it. Really? So, what? That's yeah. crazy. It connects to the old arcade setups, old school arcade setup. You can see the old Neo Geo classic, Neo Fighter, oh my god, and Toxin Oko vs. Capcom, Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 arcade version, of course. Uh, they even had like the the Simpsons arcade game as well. Oh my god. A lot of different fighting games, and even the Karate, karate Champ. Oh my god, Karate, karate Champ. champ. Uh, old school games. That's crazy. So that's just an evil poster. That's not really interesting, but it is. Those that it's a fighting game event poster in everywhere within the hotel, which so is crazy. Which is, like, which is a, you think kind of a world first, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this is a small view within the. Yeah, uh, it's uh, packed. Yeah, so I was down helping out the uh, supporting the production side of things, and then I'm um, both. Naturally, would have been a slightly emptier in the morning, but then later oh, yeah. on, as the class, this was just the, this wasn't the actual final stage. This was the event of the general a big enough stage to accommodate for the games that weren't, uh, that didn't really get the time slot at mm. the Mandalay Bay Arena. Uh, one of the Tekken matches that happened, the Tekken Power Bay oh. uh, matches. Nice. Happened, uh, I think this was before the Smash Brothers. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel the final was also very exciting. I feel like next year it's gonna be crazy because of all the new uh, fighting games. Get, it's gonna be getting bigger out. and bigger. And yeah. if you guys are into fighting games and are into all the announcements, there's gonna be two to three new fighting games coming out at the end of this year. And then there will definitely be the main uh, titles we're gonna be focusing on for uh, EVO next year. Mm. So, what the heck is a bit of a here? crowd shot of... Uh, Man, that crowd, yo! And this is just the pool stages. This isn't even the final stages. Mm. But whenever so there's a uh, some of your favorite players playing each other, then naturally the crowd will gather. Forget all the serious so this is just an, in Friday, like the, like the round, the first round of the tournament. And there's a crowd gathering because the so, player on the right side is Snake Eyes, yeah. and the player on the left is I am still that daddy from the UK. Oh. So a lot of big names uh, internationally, and that's oh. of course we got Daigo. Daigo. And on the right, that's XSK Samurai, a mm -hmm. fellow American female player as well. Oh. We have Punko from Korea versus the player uh, playing against Punko. Yes. He actually defeated uh, Mago from Japan. Mago, oh. the 2D god from Japan, two games straight didn't even give Mago a single game. What? So just like Damn. that, there are some, there are a lot of hidden underdogs in the fighting game community where like they might not be as popular as some of those players who are known in the social media. Yeah. But there are hidden masters who are very very strong, just that they're really busy, weren't able to attend much tournaments. But for Evo, they make an exception. It's such a big tournament and it's internationally popular that everyone will come and it's just like a festival mm. right so it's very uh, a, a cool sight to see you see a lot of uh, uh, international conventions probably we'll have a look at one last video if yes. you can scroll up uh, I picked the one that's pretty awesome the one on the bottom right of that screen right now this one or uh, this that one have a look at that one let me just check if that's the right one. Oh, that is Let's see which game this is. Let's oh, this is like Street Fighter. Fighter. Yeah. Okay, that, so this is a match between Tokido versus the Capcom Cup winner of the previous year. Oh, Knuckle Dude. Knuckle Dude. Yeah. So this match would have been uh, Knuckle Dude's uh, to take, but uh, Tokido makes an amazing comeback. Oh my god! Ah. 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Knuckle Dude I mean, got this. I mean, right. oh wait, this was the match in the winner side. Is this? All right, let me, let's, so this is the final game, the final round of the match between the two. Oh. Yeah. And then, fortunately, I cut off the camera there because uh, my camera storage went full. So during this time, oh. what I did was, oh my god, delete all the old videos! It's like, yeah, delete, delete, yeah. delete, 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 too much, And too then much. let's have a look at the actual, the final moment. I think it's that one there. Yeah, that one. Which no, one? no, no. This one? Uh, scroll up a little bit. Let me have a quick browse. Scroll up, 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 up. Is that... That's the Is that one. it? Yep. Oh, no. Um, what? I have to show this. I have to show this. <laughs> There's so many, though. There's like a hundred of videos here. I'm like, I'm like, man, that's a lot of video you want to show. Is that it? This is the one. Oh, wait, 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 it's not captured yet. So this is a final video. I guess I'll show it to the viewers, but you can check out all the match videos at the Capcom YouTube channel. But so this is the grand finals, the final moment between oh. Akito and Punk. Ah. And you can just see the crowd. This was, I actually was watching this on stream too. And I'm like, ooh, who's gonna win? Tokido got him really crazy in his mind after Tokido, the first. Tokido, yeah, he did yeah. something what we call the mental guard break. So, fighting games where it's a battle of reflexes and reactions. It is also a very heavily uh, involved in mind games where you have to kind of get in your opponent's head. And Tokido was able to do that in the early stages of each other's battles and was able to get the victory at the end. So this is a bit of a behind story. Before the finals, uh, Punk actually mentioned the only player in this uh, in Las Vegas right now that scares me is Tokido. Oh, yeah, so when he came up from the losers bracket, Punk yeah. was like, "Damn it!" So <laughs> Punk was actually a little bit frightened because uh, Punk and Tokido have a history before when they played their uh, Street Fighter matches in other tournaments. Mm -hmm. They would always go back and forth and then lose. Um, and of course, Tokido is a well-respected fighting game player for most people because he's been playing fighting games ever since. Mm. And he's been attending EVO for almost 13 years. 13 and he actually years. never won any EVO titles. And this, after 13 years of attending EVO, oh my he finally was able to win 13 years. the main card fighting game. That's amazing. And that just proves, right? Guys, never give up. To even... The well-respected Tokido, uh, although he never won an EVO, he is he was still like a favorite, an idol, a top player in most people's hearts. Mm -hmm. But for Tokido himself, he would have been empty somewhere in his heart. He's like he attended EVO for so long, but was not able to bring the trophy back home. After 13 years, he finally was able to <laughs> achieve the dream. So. Never give up, guys. Never give up. And can I say one thing? Mm. This is what happens when we bring in Kevin and we ask him to talk about fighting games. What's happening? We got one hour of show and one fourth of it is talking about Evo. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I could I'm go like, on. I'm days. like, oh my god, I got I'm like, I gotta I gotta go on next there's so many things to cover. And I'm like, oh my god, we're talking about Evo forever. For days. This is not Evo Weekly, okay? This is excellent weekly. I'll make my own okay. Evo Weekly. But <laughs> of course if you guys are more interested more about fighting uh, games, you can always visit my channel. Yes. And then There'll be a lot of fighting game stories I'll be able to share, so exactly. check it out next you time. Can, you can see that on you know his description right down below, right there. Yes, my hand is stretching really what? long. Are you right Dao there. Sim? Yes, I am Dao Sim. Yoga! <laughs> oh, I can do it too! Oh my gosh! Alright, next! Explit news. It's not only Evo, okay? We also did Rev Major. That's right. Another event was uh, in Philippines. Yes. Uh, they also had multiple game titles, but this time they were focusing a lot in Tekken. So if you guys are into the 3D fighting games and are into Tekken, you can definitely check out the Rev Major fighting game footage available at the Team Spooky YouTube channel. Just a minute. It starts making this weird stab. 
There we go. Fixed. Fixed. Okay. You press something and you fix the stream. You must be a god. Yes, I am a stream god. Bam. I can touch stream god's head. No. Anyways, if you like uh, more of the Tekken side of things, definitely check out Team Spooky's channel who had the coverage of Rev Major that happened in the Philippines. And if you happen to be in Philippines also, definitely check out the local uh, fighting game uh, communities and as well as uh, Spooky himself is now located at Philippines, so he should be able to give you guys a lot of advice on tournaments, on streaming, on fighting games, all the things. Uh, shout outs to Explode, of course, for supporting the event as well. Mm. Alright, so next. Uh, speaking of which, uh, it's not Spooky, but Offcast and IE Battlegrounds. Mm -hmm are ha coming up with a new show on the XSplit channel Woo! called Behind the Stream. So if you guys have been following XSplit and our uh, media channels, we've been trying to do a lot of contents that are very helpful for the streaming community, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, general ideas or strategies or thoughts that goes through uh, while, while streaming. Uh, these guys would be the guys uh, to teach you things in the technical area of things. Mm -hmm. So I guess the first episode is going to be aired very soon. Uh, they are currently taking your uh, questions regarding audio and microphones. Yes. So if you ever had audio related issues or uh, you, wanted to, you had a general uh, question about what kind of microphone should I be using for streaming or production or even content creating in general, uh, they will be able to uh, answer your questions and also at the same time uh, you will we'll give out some small prizes as uh, appreciation of participating. Um, so do uh, reply to the XSplit Twitter uh, that has the behind the stream hashtag uh, tagged on the post. Um, we'll continuously try to sh uh, have more content that are, are helpful for you guys at home. Um, if you're general, if you've never streamed before, but want to maybe you know transition into a life of streaming or even if you want to go professionally and make it into a career or you just want to you know show off your gameplay or show off your local tournaments uh in a regular basis uh these guys are definitely the guys to help you out anything in technical uh, areas or like even even for us uh, we pretty use, much i mean some people have this misconception of where if you go to big productions um there'll be a lot of more advanced stuff which is true but in all honesty it all starts from the basics if you have the right basics then adding more equipment or adding more software uh is all of choice it's not really mandatory mm -hmm. um so we can always give you basic questions and if you've already covered the basics uh offcast and ie battlegrounds will be definitely the guys to give you all the advanced technology details so look out for the behind the stream episodes coming very soon to the exploit youtube channels and throughout your social medias yeah ba all right but um so i need i wanted to go over that so that was exploit and also dude we got so many things to talk about uh more we... evil <laughs> no, uh, no okay no 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 more evil. more rev major uh, no, 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 no more fighting games. No, okay? I can't live without fighting games. <laughs> I love fighting games too much. No. What do we have next? Okay, uh, actually. <laughs> Hello, Guns Ablaze. <laughs> Welcome. Actually, so XSplit is going to be sponsoring the Star City Games Atlanta Open Weekend. At Atlanta? Nice. Yep. July 22 and 23. So, is this another fighting game? <laughs> yes, it is. It is? <laughs> no, it's... Well, I guess they're. I guess they may have fighting games. Exactly, it's not only fighting games. Okay. So it is generally for uh, competitions and uh, esports, I believe, uh, that happening down in Atlanta. Do we have a date for that? Yes, it is going to be on the July twenty second to the July twenty third. Very nice. So Xplit is definitely happy to help out uh, the right. competitive scene as well as the general gaming scene where it's uh, deserving, uh. where it's deserving to be uh, broadcasted. Uh, so that it could be shared around the internet. Exactly. So it's, you know, about competing. It's not the fighting game, though, mm -hmm. right? Right. But we are going to be sponsoring them. It's going to be amazing. So definitely check it out. Yep. Um, Star City Games. So I believe they are also a qualifier for a bigger circuit as well. So if you're definitely into competitive esports, and or if you just want to try out your luck or your skill, 
uh, in gaming and if you're near the Atlanta area definitely check out StarCityGames.com for all the information available yes and speaking of sponsoring we'll be sponsoring a lot of twitch meetups oh yes that's coming up in Boston Toronto Vancouver Orlando and <gasps> the first streamers meetup in Japan Japan in Japan which I'm actually helping organizing. Nice. Too, so it's okay. So so we've been throughout most of the uh, North American Twitch uh, meetups. Uh, whether if it was us in person, it would have been uh, UGR Gaming or uh, Anna of yes. uh, our Us as community managers kind of have this obligation to visit you in person so that you, we know that you are real. What if we visit and you guys don't exist? Or, or the other way around. You guys think that we're, we're like, real. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. What if you guys invited us and we don't exist? I know. They're like, where, huh? where, where's the guys that we know we're, that they thought we thought they existed, but maybe they're just AI. Or maybe they're just holograms, like uh, Tupac. Like Tupac. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I mean, we're definitely ha happy to continuously supporting these events. Uh, if you have uh, other uh, streamer-related meetups that you would like to organize and... Uh, if you wanted to make something that is uh, beneficial for your streaming community, uh, not just streaming, even if it's just for your gaming community, even, um, do let us know. We like to, I mean, we are always open uh, with our ears so that we can all hear your opinions, your suggestions, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, definitely let us know. Uh, these uh, meetups that we are helping out are also, uh, have been very cooperative with us as well. They're happy to have us as uh, exposure there. Yes. A lot of, uh, majority of the meetups, uh, and also the the users uh, of uh, streaming, uh, they were already kind of uh, most of them were already kind of familiar with XSplit, uh, but they kind of wanted us to be more in like you know in presence, mm. so that they could actually feel that they're being supported by uh, the people who actually you know are behind the software that they're using. Mm. Uh, we we and I mean these were the ideas started from the community and then we are just here to try to answer the call so yeah I mean it's always exciting to meet new people always exciting to uh, meet uh, friends around those areas so uh, if you're within those areas we just announced definitely check it out uh, I believe they have to be RSVP as well so do talk to, uh, to your fellow streamers and find out if it's near your area and like I said um, if you're just uh, curious about all these things and uh, if you'd like to meet us or, you know, uh, UGR or Obizianka and many other friendly expert staff, mm -hmm. uh, definitely let us know. So we'll be able to uh, respond to your call. Yes. We're like, we're like the... If, if, if we were a video game, we were like the summons in Final Fantasy. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I cost the most amount of mana. Because I I'm am like, the well, strongest. Like, I was like wondering, like, why? I am the strongest. Why, why are you I, the strongest? I can do Shoryuken are... in real life. Well, the thing is, why do we want you to do Shoryuken at a meetup? Because... I think that's like the, one of the useless, most useless ability. That's why I cost the most mana. You're, I cost the most you're, mana you're, to summon. You're... <laughs> and usually, if you're playing Final Fantasy, you wouldn't have enough mana to summon me anyway. So I'm very rare and useless. If that makes any sense. So it, it, he's like one of those like uh, extra, uh, what you call it, the summon monsters where you you can get it but you don't have to. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> if I was in Final Fantasy, I'll be the fat chocobo. Like it's there for fun, but you wouldn't really use it in a boss fight. So, exactly. Yeah. He he'll be that. There it's you like, go. It's I just an accessory. Exist. Yep. <laughs> it's an accessory. Oh yeah. He's an accessory. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, right. we ha we are, I mean. Like, you even mentioned that we are traveling a lot lately. We are. And I guess it's because of you guys. How dare you make us travel? I know. How dare you make us travel, go around, get some good food, and then have meet some nice people? How dare you? You gotta pay me in mana. Because I cost a lot. Mana. Yeah, that, mana. That, the thing is, that's the MP. only thing you gotta pay him in. You don't have yeah. to pay him in any other money form. It's just mana. It's MP. Just, just MP. Magic mm -hmm. points. Magic points. Magic points only. There we go. All right. So anyways, that's the XSplit news. Uh, also, uh, it's kind of XSplit-related news. 
uh, New Tech came out with a new uh, device called New, mm. uh, new Tech Connected Spark. I would like to talk about it a little later on on the show, so I'm just going to announce it right now that there's this new amazing device available available that allows you to capture devices without connecting so much wires into mm. different devices. It definitely seems <clears> like <throat> a future of capturing, but uh, we'll talk more details later in the show. Yes. All right. Next up, let's talk about Mixer News. Mixer! Hello, people from the Mixer. You see? Anyways, uh, Mixer. So, in Mixer, they had a thing called CoStream already. Oh, yes. So, this CoStream thing, what it is. Hey! 101 Chris. How's 101 it going? Chris. So, this CoStream. Mixer what? is also X logo. Yeah, exactly. So, it's like. <laughs> Did they copy us? How dare you copy XSplit? But X is nice. It's okay. Yeah. X is always nice. Yes, yes. That's why everybody uses X pretty much. Oh, yes. To be honest with you. But uh, there's a uh, feature called CoStream. What it is is up to four uh, streamers, mm -hmm. I think, can stream into one channel. Yep. And then when they do that, on that channel, it'll show the four different um, screens. That's right. In one, like, one big screen. So and it's showing pretty much... A stream, so I yeah, guess so it's like a stream, collab right? stream system built into the platform. So technically, there's one host who's like, Oh, I want to actually host a multi stream, mm. uh, a co stream in this sense. Mm -hmm. um, so the host will actually invite up to four uh, other streamers, mm -hmm. and then he would be at the dashboard to be able to control the layout and all that during mm -hmm. the stream. Yep, yep. And generally, uh, all those streamers who are involved in the co stream will be live on their respective channels. Mm. However, the uh, the layout, the view uh, perspective will be all uh, synchronized. Uh, and also, uh, an awesome feature that comes with it is the chat also kind of merges together. Mm. So, say you and I are streaming, uh, say we're playing Gundam versus yeah. or something, right? And it's just that I'm like in Australia and you're in like Japan. Mm. And then we're like, oh, damn it. We would like to play Gundam because we can. Yeah, it's like, why not? Yeah. And then, right? <laughs> uh, so that uh, they will have a feature to uh, choose whatever preferred uh, layout that suits your game plus whatever uh, stream content you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll be able to uh, stream either of the channels and the viewership is shared. And as well as our my followers and your followers can communicate in one chat. That's actually so really fun. Like, for instance, Team AJ versus Team Kevin. Yeah. Like, chat's like duking and it out. And they'll be too. like, oh my god, what are you doing to my streamer? <laughs> and it'll be funny because um, uh, it actually... I mean, there's been al already a user-agreed system. Well, I don't know if system's the right word. But when you whenever you have a collaboration stream, you usually just stream it on one... Mm -hmm users channel right mm -hmm. but this you will be able to stream it on your respective channels anyway so it's kind of convenience in that sense so it's kind of a, a next step in where a lot of streamers nowadays they have teams or crews mm -hmm. uh, whenever they like to try out new games that are multiplayer they always uh, get their uh, team stream team involved to try out new games and things like that and this feature within mixer the co-streaming feature is definitely the one to look at, and I can already see a lot of mm -hmm. ideas like, coming into this. And why I actually talk about this, because this stream, it, uh, this feature itself is not that new, okay. but it's new for Xbox One users. Oh. So now Xbox One users can also go ahead and co-stream as well. Because right. before, uh, they only were able to do co-streaming if they're like actually streaming from the PC. Right. So now, uh, if you're just like using the Xbox One's streaming feature, you can also co-stream onto other uh, channels as well now. So it's cross-platform. Another exactly. X to that. Cross-platform. Yes. Xbox so, One X. Oh, yes. So many Xs. My and, God. Uh, yeah, so if you are actually hosting from a PC, a streamer who is... Uh, solely streaming on the Xbox cons Xbox One consoles can also be invited exactly. from the host uh, who may be uh, always dedicated on a PC. Mm -hmm. So there's no real restrictions. Uh, I guess if you're a host on Xbox One though, due to the limitations, it may not be advanced. But in that essence, it's the same thing where uh, if the host is uh, or only uh, available to stream on the consoles, mm -hmm. you can also invite the streamers who are currently on a PC as well. Yes. Pretty exciting. Yep. So that's up for Mixer. 
amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mixer has always all these amazing tools. They always come up with like uh, it's actually the interesting. fanciest ideas. The thing is, like, I feel like they have like these features are on Twitch, but not Twitch official features. Right. They're like like third party features, and on Mixer they pretty much made it into like a feature built sure. in on the actual platform, mm -hmm. which I think is cool. It's kind of giving the streamers so many more tools that yep. they can use. They don't have to use all the tools, but they have the tools. It's yep. like, you know, like... It gives them an option, a exactly. choice, right? Exactly. All, all these features are there to actually benefit your content. So uh, I definitely say give it a go if you like to do a lot of collaborative streams. Mm -hmm. uh, it is something that I think many users will get uh, used to uh, because... Like in the previous Expert Weekly when we announced uh, regarding like the new games coming out and new consoles coming out during the E3 period, mm -hmm. I think this co-streaming feature on the Xbox One will definitely be one of the main features that will be used mm -hmm. for team-based games or competitions and True. things like that uh, that can be played cross-platform uh, between PC and the consoles. I feel like uh, co-streaming would be much interesting too. Like before like... Uh, for instance, like E3 or other like shows that even streams on Twitch or mm. anything like that, a lot of people also like grab that feed and do like E3 reaction streams, oh, right? Oh, right. With this co-stream feature, it you seems like every, every yeah, exactly. People can do like a multiple perspective stream and then have your stream on the end, like yeah. maybe. So instead of flipping through each camera, you can have everyone simultaneously react to a. A announcement. Yeah, or a exactly. Trailer or so it, like it seems like it's gonna be actually a really interesting feature in the future, like even game announcements too, yep, right? Pretty much. Yep. So that's uh, also uh, this is not a feature update on Mixer, but then Mixer is gonna be on the San Diego Comic Con. Okay, cool. And they will be streaming as well. So nice. if you want to see San Diego Comic Con, seeing what's going on, go ahead and check it out. There's gonna be amazing things going on apparently. Oh, okay. Uh, they have a Tekken 7 tournament. Tournament, too. All right. More I'm fighting game again. I'm <laughs> booking my tickets to San Diego Comic Con. Oh, my goodness. That's this week? Just to play Tekken it's 7 and week. come out. I, I don't think you can get a ticket anymore. Dude, no! Th th those sells out like this. If you're if you're a mixer staff, please give me a ticket so that I can play Tekken. That's oh all God. I want to do. You just want to go to San Diego to play Tekken. That, that's pretty yeah, much that's, it. I, will, I travel the world playing Street Fighter. When I go to a different country... Uh, on the arrival card, I write, what's the purpose of your travel? I write Street Fighter! Oh my god. And they let me in. They really do? Yes. You really do? I, I do it. Oh my goodness. I'm, <laughs> I am ready if they ask me questions. So I'm that confident <laughs> that I will write fighting games on my arrival fighting card. Fighting game tournaments. Yes. I'm here to play some tournaments. For, wow. for like just that weekend and come back home. That's what I do, guys. All right. All right. Before I get sidetracked, let's have a look at the other news that we have coming up. Right. And so that was Mixer news. Next, let's go to Twitch news. So this is also not a new feature on uh, Twitch, but, but then, uh, Twitch is uh, partnering up with Crunchyroll to give you 15 oh. full seasons of anime marathon. So it's so, going to be anime after anime after anime after anime. That little anime uh, announcement thing they did was just a teaser. This is the it was real a thing. It was a trial. This is the, the real thing. The thing is, though, you can't co-stream this. Oh, I see. So you can watch... Pretty much you can watch all these anime. Right. With the trolley Twitch chat. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting... I just want to see, like, I don't care about the anime now. I just want to see the Twitch chat reactions. And then they're going to, uh, I saw some of the roster list. Uh, they're most, like, pretty recent ones. Okay. But apparently they're going to have, uh, Kemono friends in there, too. So I want to okay. see what has happened. Uh, they're going to have, like, little jokey ones to, like, really serious ones, too. Mm -hmm. So I want to see what happens in between, like, for instance, there's, like, a messed up and, uh, episode on something and see everybody's what face on it and they're like ah! or or some cringy moment and everybody's like this is so cringe i want to see all those chat and reactions then it's like it's like a fighting scene and then it's like everyone just puts on pop champ it's like yeah exactly exactly i would love to see the reactions reactions from those 15 full seasons thanks to crunchyroll and twitch that's pretty <laughs> awesome awesome dodo says i love you yankee me too man me too Thank you. All right. So, uh, so that's that's 
uh, the 15 full season of anime hits of Twitch. Uh, it's, I think it's coming up July 27th. Very, oh, end of this month. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice. Yeah, July 27th. Okay, and look out for that. there's going to be anime like Mob Psycho 100. Uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Okay, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. As much as it's not really funny or like Wait, interesting, I it's watched super, this. Super uh, adorable, and it's actually nice. <laughs> I watched this because I watched you watch it. Yeah, I watched it because <laughs> you watched it. So I feel like most of the anime here I, I saw, but it's always. Gonna they, be I mean, nice I think they made the right picks. They're definitely fan favorites, I believe. Yes. So yes, it'll be. Pretty cool. Yep. Pretty cool. And then apparently we're gonna have Crunchyroll Chan as a global emote for a while. Crunchyroll is an anime character. Crunchyroll Hime is a an, uh, well, it's Crunchyroll's. Wow. Main Why mascot. can't we just all have our own anime character? To be honest with you, I was thinking like for instance, hold uh, like the uh, ask the Japanese community to d design like a uh, split Chan and then like do a contest <laughs> give them something in return to like winning. Exprito Chan. Exprito Chan. Damn. That would be interesting. That man. is next level. Dude, like, we'll, we'll like, I, I guess it doesn't have to limit in Japan only. Like, do, like, a global Just contest. Just a worldwide like, contest, yeah. Like, hey, we want X-Split Chan. Or we would have some talented artists making, like, 3D rendering of X-Split Chan or something. No, like, I don't know. So, no, no. So, like, we make the character first, right? And we, we decide the character, and then we can make like Kizuna Eye or like, uh, oh. do, like Miku Miku dance, and we can make uh, Exploit Chan start talking and pretty much narrate everything for It'll us. become its own anime. Oh, yes! See, I, I, think, uh, I think we have a future here. I think we have. Well, we are, have a we are we are going way too deep, man. Exploit Chan. Okay, I'm gonna actually start writing up a document about Exploit Chan. Exploit Chan! Ex I would watch that anime. Okay, <laughs> Exploit Chan. Is it gonna be voiced by you? <laughs> ah! uh, no, no, no. We're 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 gonna ask people too. Like, who who do you wanna? No, I but know, at man. the at the end, I feel like we could definitely do like a at least get like our own man. It's a girl it's too, a right? it's like a school girl doing a world journey of streaming. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so insane. Uh, this all right, let's not get sidetracked. Right, okay, we okay. can talk more uh, about this next uh, time. Sorry, sorry. Anime, anime. Wait, uh, but then I just want to say to my future self and oh, actually. To the future, AJ and Burnout. Yes. If you're watching this in the future, we have the best ideas. Yes, I know. And we made it true. And but if that never happened, ignore what we said. Exactly. To be honest with you, as, as much as I, I know you guys love us being on the show, like they do. The, this is like the best duo. I feel like we get sidetracked so much. Let's <laughs> let's just make our own show. I know. We should we should just like you know like we have Xplit Weekly and then we'll we'll do like a. The complete sidetrack show. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll do X-Split not so weekly. Wow. Yeah, it's All right. just going to be like... All right, this is like, we're getting out of hand now. All right, next. Next. Next, uh, another, uh, another feature is... Uh, so there was a community that mm -hmm. was announced a while back on Twitch, right? Uh, you were only able to stream on one community each. But uh, they now uh, enabled it, so now you can stream up to three communities. Oh. So you can choose like, oh, I'll be streaming under retro community with a variety streaming and whatever. That's community. actually nice. Yeah, so it's like Japan stream. Community, It'll give more like discoverability because right now I usually stream just on fighting games mm. community, but then I stream like battlegrounds, and that's not fighting. Yeah, games. it's like yeah. what? What the hell are you doing? And I, it's just that I. Got really lazy to change the community all the mm. time. But I I always update the game name, the yeah. game title, but the communities I just stay there because sometimes be <sighs> like I have a realistic reason though. Although I would say I would remain on the fighting game community and play a game that's not a fighting game. But then what happens is then I get to see other fighting game players still in the fighting game community but play the same game as I. Mm. So I'm like finding other fighting game community members. Who play battlegrounds and I play battlegrounds with them together. So which was becoming a thing, but then now having this is quite more straightforward now. So mm -hmm. I can have fighting games and battlegrounds, and maybe something like oh, I also I also sometimes stream with the the Korean Twitch partners as well. Yes. So I have the Twitch Korea community as yeah, well, right? Pretty much that's how I do it too. Like I always have a Japan stream mm. and variety stream in the category and depending on the game that I stream or the type of stream you do exactly you will just switch between the two right exactly okay 
But now this will be more convenient for lazy people like me. Exactly. Just have three of the best communities that suit your stream yep. and just leave it there. Exactly. Oh, yes. Hey, okay. Thank you, Twitch, for adding two more lines. <laughs> that, that just changed our lives. Uh, <laughs> changed your life. I guess. <laughs> So that's uh, pretty much for Twitch news as well. It's like one feature, one event. It's like the mixer. It's like one feature, one event. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's always like another update to an existing feature, which is uh, interesting. Interesting. For sure. Mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, but so, yeah. Uh, I think that's done with the news for Twitch and mixer. And next off, we're going to be doing... I, I guess we got to... Okay. Ready? Get, all right. All right. Next event, this is this is uh, Brandon's, you know, uh, little guess, little thing, thing that we gotta always that do. He told us to do. Yeah. And if he don't, we're gonna get fired. Exactly. Because so. Brandon is our super manager. Is he? I, uh, well, <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was Melvin was, but all right. Everybody's our super manager. I know. All right, so we're gonna be talking about video, video games. games. So that, that, that's, that's, a, that's a shake weight, man. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong. There we go. Video there games. Go. Video games. I. So. I, we we need. I know to, somebody will give us a really nice sound effect for that. I it's know. Just that we don't have. It a goes like. Ding. Or some stuff like that. Bum, yeah, bum, yeah, bum, it'll, it'll be cool. But all right. So video games. Uh, this week, there are quite uh, a, not a lot, a lot, but there there are a uh, nice a uh, lot of. Uh, Announcements during Evo, to be honest with you. Yep. So now Arika EX, the April Fool's uh, joke. Yeah. Supposedly it was an April Fool's joke. Or was it? Uh, nobody well, would know. Nobody knew. They were like, "Is this a joke? Is, or this, is real? this real?" Like they they never really confirmed confirmed it until now at Evo. Of course, like the best time to confirm it. Yep. Arika EX is actually gonna be coming out. Without all the Street Fighter characters. So we still don't even know the actual name of the game. Yeah. So it's made from Arika. And all they teased was the big giant letter EX. And they said, oh, we, uh, we might also be releasing this on April Fool's of next year. And then everyone's like, wow, Arika is so good at trolling. But at least what's for sure is that I actually played the demo build of the game. At oh, Evo. nice. How was it? And it feels like the old i don't know if you guys might know this it's a very unless you're a fighting game fan not many people that fight uh, played this game there was an old fighting game that was made by arika that's not street fighter ex it was mm. actually called the fighting layer oh so it had so it's like think about it it had 2d fighting game mechanics mm -hmm. so all your um movement and everything uh wasn't limited to 2d Mm. But your controls would have been 2D-based uh, movements. So it's quite fluent like any other Street Fighter game, mm -hmm. but with the option of running around in 3D. So most 3D mm -hmm. games, um, they are very... Uh, how would I put it? They have uh, built-in combo strings. So for example, <coughs> you press 1, 2, 3 like in your respective yeah. controller. It would do a combo that's like 1, 2, 3... Um, uh, for specific for that character, right? Mm -hmm. um, but two D games don't really have that. Two D games are mostly like each hit is there. It's it's the unique hit, mm -hmm. and then you cancel that into like a special move. Got it. So it was like that, but three D movement. Huh. So they were being very creative, and this was like back in like early not two thousands. So long, long time ago, right? And now actually they're bringing back uh, a game that. Also, we are unsure whether it's a continuation of the story, mm. but the characters are definitely uh, familiar characters yeah. that was in the old Street Fighter EX series. So we are still curious as these guys are really good at hiding information, yeah. but when I played it, it looks very, very promising. So it'll be definitely one of the games to play next year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's Arika. Like, a lot of people just call it Arika EX Okay. for now. I, I call it... What should I call it? <laughs> you don't even call it anything. Yeah. I just call it that game. Uh, with, that uh, game with Arika. <laughs> I just hope it's Street Fighter EX4. That's all I hope it to be. I don't think it's going to be Street Fighter, though, because they... They, they don't have Street Fighter characters. Right? Yeah. Maybe it's Fighting Layer 2. I don't know. Yeah. Nobody will know. So, yeah, nobody will know. They will release it at April Fool's next year. All right. But uh, next 
So this weekend, actually, I, I was playing Castlevania, so I couldn't really play it. You're marathoning that game. I was parasite on Castlevania one, two, three. But uh, Splatoon two uh, playtest demo, mm -hmm. like tournament kind of. Uh, happened again. Everybody seems to have so much fun with it. I wish I could have played it too, but it's coming out soon, so I'm actually just looking forward to that. So they did another session of yeah. uh, playtest? Okay, Pretty much. Cool. It was like a nice tournament happening too. Mm. Uh, it seems like a lot of people liked it. Uh, everybody's like, if you like Splatoon 1, definitely you'll like this too. Like, I've been hearing uh, feedbacks from both the competitive community and those just who like the game. Mm -hmm. um, like, I mainly checked out the competitive community in Japan. Because uh, I heard a lot of... Yeah, Japanese competitive Japanese, scene of yeah. Splatoon is crazy. And like, I don't know the... Uh, sadly, <clears> because <throat> I wasn't really into it, but so I don't know the scale of like, you know, whether they have a league or not. But then, like, the level of people who play this competitively at home is already like super godlike. Like, yeah, yeah. super masterclass play. And some of the feedback they give is that the game feels more diverse and balanced. So Ooh. I guess uh, the competitive community definitely are looking forward to it when it comes out to release. And um, and Splatoon, the developers have been very responsive with the feedback. So I believe they'll also try to make it the best uh, gameplay experience for the Nintendo Switch console as well. Uh, and if you just like to generally uh, mix the genre of shoot 'em ups to Painting. Pa painting? Yeah. Then this definitely is a game for you, whether it's serious or just for party. It is uh, a fun game mm. uh, uh, in in that focus. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it. Like, I, I actually like the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's It gets salty, though. Like, you know, of course, because it is a competitive game. Yeah. But... But it's actually nice. It's enjoyable, too. Exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. it's enjoyable. But it's also team effort. So like when your team is like slacking off, you start getting like a mm -hmm. little antsy. And it's funny because um, when you talk with, uh, look at other competitive player. Man, they're so like the 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 like cleverness, their serious cleverness. How like how everybody smart goes. They use. Because like for me. I won't be a good player at this because it requires you to multitask a lot. Not only that mm. you need to uh, distract and eliminate your opponents, like your objective would be to color your color the stage with your respective team colors, right? And that's already multitasking while you're playing a shoot 'em up. So mm -hmm. it is like if you think about it, it's really not an easy game, right? Nah. Like people have general idea how it's played, and that's fine if you like to just enjoy it at that level. Mm -hmm. But if you want to actually put time into this and be more clever and ha do some more creative stuff, the game offers so much things that you need to actually consider before going into the battle that it's gotten like almost next level of gameplay. But I can definitely see the direction of how the developers are going mm -hmm. and also how the competitive players are going to utilize the game and have so many different strategies based on you know what class they choose and all that. So it's pretty yeah. exciting. Yep. And speaking of classes and multiplayer, oh! Destiny 2! Oh, so Destiny 2! The beta is actually out. If you pre order the game, yep. the PS4 beta is already out. Nice. Uh, the Xbox beta is starting tomorrow. Okay. So, today? Tomorrow? It's, it's like today it will be or tomorrow. tomorrow if you're in Asia, but I believe it's uh, we got the North American info, yeah. so yeah, so it'll be like today, tomorrow ish, yeah. So if you are actually excited about this and pre order Destiny 2, you can play it already. It's actually pretty exciting. Oh, it's gonna be exciting for sure. Like, I actually want to play it to be honest. I like, wasn't I able to play Destiny. For a long time, I only played it at the early stages. Same here, same here. Because I mean, to be fair, to in my defense, like that was the time when PlayStation Four like came out. Yeah. So I was busy with other games too, and kind of got sidetracked. Yeah, it's still like the transition period. Yeah, right? and now they kind of made the sequel. I believe the dedicated fans will definitely come back into it. Yeah. I heard the all the like f not flaws, but like the the negative. Uh, Parts of Destiny One, which is like not much, like things that need to be improved. Exactly, on. was actually improved. They listened to the feedback from nice. the fans and the users, and they actually improved it in this game. Is what I hear. Cool. 
So hopefully that's true. Uh, that I mean, that pretty much means the developers and the community managers are listening to the gamers. Mm -hmm. So it's always a good sign to see way, whether the support is going back and forth, the community and the, the developer, the publishers. Mm -hmm. So this game, without a doubt, I believe it will be a very enjoyable game. Uh, for those who like to, you know, be more dedicated, will actually be even considering maining this game um, while they have... Uh, while not even playing other favorite games that they will play. Mm -hmm. Some people are that dedicated. Yeah, but other t otherwise, if you're like really casual into it, uh, it'll definitely offer you a great uh, multiplayer experience without a doubt. So it'll be mm -hmm. good for sure. Awesome. All right, and I guess that's pretty much video game of the week. I think there were other areas that we didn't really talk about, like new uh, characters on Tekken coming out, geese or... Uh, the new the anime new, game. new anime mash up with Ruby. So they had theme. Ruby, they had Ruby, Under Night in Under Birth, Night in Birth uh, Persona, Persona 4, 4 Golden, and, and Blaze Blue. Blue. So four different anime fighting games in one, and it's a 2v2 tag battle. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have Guilty Gear in it. Or I guess they haven't really announced every, See, I think everything. Because I know for a fact, fans have been wanting this for a long time, right? Okay. Blaze Blue versus Guilty Gear. If that ever happens, the planet is gonna blow up because they cannot uh, contain the hype. It's, they're like, ah! And we're gonna get blown into space like Dragon Ball. Speaking mm -hmm. of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball is coming out as well. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball. They Ball's also announced out. a new character, Future Trunks. Oh, oh yeah. dude, and they also uh, showed few, uh, in the Japanese magazine, Krillin, oh, Krillin and, Piccolo. and Piccolo. Yes. So it was uh, uh, pretty cool. I'm but gonna then, be using Krillin. But he then, has a pure unblockable. And he looks like you. Kienzan. The destructor oh. disc is unblockable. Really? Yeah. It's a pure unblockable. Frieza also has a Kienzan as well. I don't know if that's unblockable too. <sighs> Maybe. I'm gonna find out. Frieza has a Kienzan? If you guys want to actually see some uh, competitive Dragon Ball Fighters, that's the game that's not even released. Uh, Evo had an actual tournament. Uh, oh. So you could actually watch, watch the archive at, uh, I think it's the Bandai Namco stream channels. Oh, wow. Um, there's a tournament footage of the Dragon Ball Fighters, so definitely check it out. Ooh, I actually did not know that. Uh, I'll probably watch that in my free time too, while having dinner or something. It's going to be really sick because uh, I want to see all the action and the game can... The game is meant to play... Properly, like fighting game properly, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Axis not, is on it. Yeah, Arc System. Arc System is yeah, definitely yeah, on yeah. it. So, um, a lot of past Dragon Ball games, like ever since, like the last ever proper fighting game uh, oriented Dragon Ball game was like back in PlayStation One days, and ah. PlayStation oh, probably PlayStation Two as well. But most modern Dragon Ball games were just a fan service kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now this is while it's a fan service. Definitely. It's also a proper fighting game, yeah. which requires your reflexes, your reactions, your execution, all that stuff. So on the hands of a master, like it would actually be like the Dragon Ball battle that you dreamed of. You know how you, like, you watch the Dragon Ball episodes and you're like, I wish this, this fight happened and they did this move to finish them off, whatever, but it'll never it happen, now. right? You can you actually do, do it that now. now. You can, see, like, who would have thought you, could, you can have a team of uh. Goku... Frieza and Cell. Like, <laughs> that, how could that be a team? They can oh do it. Like, your dream team can happen. Yeah, now. Crispy Kaiser actually said the same. Uh, what I was actually thinking too. Uh, they also were so oh. much in care of like, like for instance, if someone does like an action mm. and sh shows a pose, it's gonna make it look like it's a super identical with the manga. Like, frame oh, by frame the as manga well. references. The actual Frieza's neutral form yeah. is when Frieza actually, the final form Frieza first appeared in the manga. Mm -hmm. The pose is exactly the same. That's his neutral, like, standing pose. Yeah, or like when uh, Trunks did the, uh, when it showed the trailer and then it did that pose. Ah, oh, are you talking the about end, the sword? Yeah, the sword with, like, after he cuts it and there's an explosion in the back. Yeah. That's, oh, that's exactly the same. Yes, same, I saw that. Same oh, identical frame as the manga. So, where, the... The producer of the game definitely knows how to make a true Dragon Ball game. Yes. So yes. I'm definitely looking forward to that. And we'll probably cover uh, most of that maybe on the next week's episode of Expert Weekly as well because we? there was so <laughs> much <laughs> that we wouldn't want to show, are but we, talk about? we are going over time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you guys remind us, and also if we are able to 
continue the hype regarding the new gaming coming out next week. We'll definitely cover that as well. Awesome. I'm like, are we going to? I didn't know. We that. have to now. I guess we. Okay, we're we're gonna have like one. Di- we should have like another show on XSplit, just saying fighting game event, and you'll host it. And then and I'll talk about it for like five hours. No, just an hour. Five hours. <laughs> one hour. All right. Okay, got it. I'll All do right. one hour about All five right. times. Oh my god. <laughs> just yeah. goes offline. Goes online. We're yeah. back again. We're back again. Okay, we're tangent. Ga- tangent. Oh. off again. Okay. Looks like we gotta wrap it off, but here is... The feature of the week. So, uh, if you guys remember, after all those fighting game talks, yes. uh, we talked about the New Tech NDI uh, or New Tech um, Spark Connect? Connect Spark. Connect Spark. Connect Spark. So, I do want to introduce you guys with the New Tech NDI Connect Spark. Mm-hmm. And, I would like to... Um, uh, introduce you how it's done and our truly your tr- yours truly spooky the is going to explain stream god stream god the true guy lord spooky is going to explain to you what this feature is what's up guys this is victor fontanez product manager of exploit broadcaster Today I'd like to talk to you about NewTek's new Connect Spark device, which allows you to convert any HDMI-based video source to NDI. It accepts resolutions up to 1080p and 60 frames per second. This includes many consumer and prosumer cameras, as well as your favorite game consoles such as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The Connect Spark is a convenient way to distribute your camera or other HDMI feeds to your broadcast area from long range, as long as you have access to the same LAN. It is also accessible by multiple devices on the network, making it easy to distribute your content to your entire media team on the fly. All you need to do is plug it into your network and it will be immediately accessible by any NDI device or software, including XSplit Broadcaster. Additionally, the Connect Spark can work via Wi-Fi if Ethernet is not an option. The included HDMI pass-through makes it possible to easily monitor the local feed without the need for an HDMI splitter. It took me only minutes to connect my HDMI-based camera to the Connect Spark, and immediately all XSplit instances on the same network were able to see it via NDI. The included software also allows you to test the feed and change settings such as IP address as needed. Anyone who is interested in using their local area network or even Wi-Fi to distribute their HDMI-based content should certainly try out the Connect Spark by NewTek. It is a great solution for centralizing your HDMI devices or just getting more range while being able to use the flexibility of Ethernet. For more information, check out xsplit.com forward slash newtech. And of course, thank you for using XSplit Broadcaster. Please follow our social media for the latest updates. card from now new tech that is crazy it's actually quite amazing like i actually was able to try out the new tech ndi feature uh during gdc right quite so often um i recommend using lan rather than wireless it kind of works wirelessly but uh i think and uh lan would work stable i guess lan is like optional if uh whatever environment you are uh, have difficulty of wiring it. Mm-hmm. I guess wiring would be your first choice uh, just because essentially it's physically connected. Mm-hmm. But the device is, uh, the purpose of the device is that because um, it can f- throughout, throughout many different feeds uh, wirelessly, mm-hmm. if you do actually have multiple devices and uh, your logistics of wiring them up is not realistic, Mm-hmm. A new tech connect spark is gonna fix that solution by able to connect your video feeds and audio feeds wirelessly, which yes. is very convenient. And like Spooky mentioned, it, it's the same XSplit broadcaster you guys use at home. Mm-hmm. Um, it can it's definitely something that was considered for a production, but if you're even just got a home studio, you got like multiple consoles, multiple PCs. Uh, it is definitely one of those devices that you mm-hmm. can try out. That'll clean up all your wire mess that's on your floor right exactly. now, like yours. But we can't see. Yeah. We can't show them. Well, I could. You guys won't should, be yeah. able to see on camera, but this room is like eighty percent wires. Here, I could show it to them right now if you want. To... That's this is your room, man. I don't right. care. So here. 
Dead end. So this is an example of how wired uh, Omoroi Yankee High Guy's room is. How look all that wires. Oh my god. Look at all the wires, guys. Look at all the equipment and wires. Look at all the wires. This guys. is just an example. This is this is just an example of how much of a wire. There's mess. got capture cards there, capture There's cards there, cards there. Beha below the, the table. Some you, you can see. I think some of them is like so ancient that it's like mummified by now. I, I feel like one day it'll just catch on fire. To be honest with you, dude, this it's yeah. like. You gotta clean up your room, man. <laughs> Wait, I need all the H, uh, new tech NDI. New tech NDI is definitely gonna uh, upgrade your stream and also clean up your room. See how it's so good for the environment as well as streaming. Yay. So thank you, new tech, for partnering with us, XSplit, and we also uh, the guys uh, such as Puki, uh, Offcast. Uh, IE Battlegrounds uh, in the future uh, gaming tournaments or esports event, um, they might have this device with them. So if you're interested, always come up and ask, and we can definitely answer some of your questions uh, if you're at your favorite uh, event at the time. Mm -hmm. And what's cool is you can also shoot out uh, NDI uh, feed from XSplit as well. Sure. So it'll so it's uh, two pass. It'll either receive input and output yes. as well. And what's cool is I actually used that feature one time when I was at a uh, C4 in Japan. There's mm -hmm. a C4 uh, LAN event mm -hmm. where everybody's you know connected to the LAN playing video games, and I was playing Player Unknown Battleground, streaming it with all the other streamers that was sitting next to me, yes. and they were streaming it too. And there, this computer all had XSplit on it. Okay, I made that happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what it is is I also told them to shoot out NDI feed so I can add their cameras on my screen as well. Nice, yes. And I just cropped it, the like the game feed so it just shows the camera only. So everybody else is talking on the Discord, but I mute the audio and just show the camera, uh, just the video. video feed, so yeah. to show like how, like how what it kind of looks like right now like between all the other people mm -hmm. as well. It, it works well because you don't have to have extra other capture card to connect like everybody else's stream on or like even use like a web browser source to and then that would have delay mm -hmm. uh new tech ndi has like a minimal delay like sub one frame like, right it, it's like so if it's, it's just for the viewing pleasure and just for the presentation um it won't have a, any effects on the actual uh, video feed so the technology isn't like super new like the concept always existed in xp broadcaster before mm. uh through the feature uh of uh, local streaming so what that did was it just borrowed the bandwidth of your lan network with your home or office mm -hmm. and was able to uh share video and audio feed through your lan uh connection mm -hmm. however like you've met, you you described with the new tech device um it is solely for that purpose and uh, it's optimized so that it, uh, it'll have minimal uh, delay so that it's actually going to be in, in a better quality and better speed of all your uh, media sources. Yes. So that was the feature of the week. Mm -hmm. New tech NDI and the amazing, amazing new tech Connect Spark. I'm definitely getting that. I want one. I'm getting that So because I don't want a messy room like yours. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Your room is the best, I think, because it reminds me of the boss stage in King of Fighters 2002. Oh, oh my god. It's just full of wires and tables and dead <laughs> animals on the ground. Dead and, animals, eh? And pool of blood. Um, not that you have a pool of blood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I don't think I have a pool of blood, bro. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the, but, there's no music. I think we need a the outro calm music. down music. All right. Very calming down. But yeah, uh, this was episode uh, 34. Oh, okay. This was episode 34 <laughs> of Explit Weekly. Uh, hopefully, uh, UGR Gaming. I believe UGR Gaming and uh, Moktaism of this is uh, getting ready for DreamHack Atlanta. Atlanta. So, alongside with the other Atlanta event that we mentioned before, um, there's also DreamHack Atlanta happening. Soon. Soon! And they, if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and you happen to come by DreamHack, uh, definitely come down and check it out. I believe also Spooky is going to be there too. 
Yep, got product managers, Spooky is gonna be there if you have any answer questions. Uh, you can ask technical questions to Spooky. You can ask about streaming and uh, streaming partnerships to UGR Gaming and Monkeyism or Bizienka. They'll be your friendly neighborhood expert community managers to talk to if you're in Shanghai. So, uh, and uh, yeah, um, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been with uh, AJ for quite a while. This year. <laughs> yes. uh, I've been appearing in Expo Weekly for uh, quite a while too. Um, other than I'm that of a helpful guy, it's just that uh, thanks, thanks to AJ, I was able to stay at his place uh, during the early season of the fighting game circuit uh, during, in North America. Uh, I'll be going back to Australia very soon and then probably going around oh, yeah. the Asian regions as well uh, to help out with the streaming and the fighting games and all the kind of stuff throughout Asia. So I'll probably see you guys more on the Where the Heck is Kevin segment. Yay, the segment that kind of disappeared because you're I'm already here. here. <laughs> I'm like, uh. So uh, that segment will definitely come back and have its true purpose when uh, I go back home. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching this from uh, Southeast Asia or Australia or even Korea, Japan, uh, definitely hit us up. We like to always, always share information. We even speak your language. Yes, most no, 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 not yeah. all, just but a language. Yeah, definitely uh, look out for that and um, expert. Whether if it's just gaming or streaming or you know, IRL streams, uh, we are always uh, there to make it more convenient so that your streaming experiences could be easier and better, and always developing and upgrading like my hair length, yes. which has grown quite a bit because it was like, you, you like slashed it off. Yeah, I, I, I and definitely now I, slashed it off. kind of uh, growing back, so yeah. Look out for uh, super long hair burnout fighter in the future again. Yeah, and then we'll slash it again in fact. But by that time, <laughs> nobody can beat me in Street Fighter. We'll slash it again, everybody. It's All okay, right. it's okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank uh, you for your company. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Kevin. Hey. We're gonna be signing off, so uh, we'll see you guys when? Soon. Well, this is next week. So next week. Next week. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll have. Uh, it's usually next week, every week. But sometimes stuff comes out. And yeah. We'll be able. But hopefully next week. Hope we don't get canceled. And definitely look out for the new show, uh, Behind the Stream by uh, Offcast and uh, IE Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. And sometimes we will be able, also be able to share our information as well. And of course, I believe there will be more new shows from us, uh, including streamer FAQs as well. That's and then maybe the fighting game thing. I'm gonna he, do that. He, he'll I'm just really talk about uh, fighting game for an hour. And playing fighting games for 24 hours. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, thank you very much guys and have a great day. Never stop playing, never stop streaming. We'll see you guys next time.